Hello world, it's 2013 and welcome to the return of Geek Movie News. First up, some news on Guillermo del Toro's Dark Universe. For those of you who don't know, Dark Universe is a DC Comics Warner Brothers movie that del Toro has been working on, featuring a lot of the supernatural characters from that comic book universe. Now very similar to the Justice League Dark series that was launched with the new 52 reboot of the comic book franchise. It will have characters like John Constantine, Dead Man, Swamp Thing, Zatanna, those types of characters in a, a team up, a superhero team up. Now he's been talking to IGN saying that obviously he is going to be working as a producer. He's found someone who he is happy with to write the first sort of test script, although he hasn't stated who that is. Uh, he's not confirmed that he is going to direct, although it is very, very likely that he will. And the, the characters that I've just mentioned are the kind of characters that you should expect to see in this franchise. Uh, with the success of the Avengers, obviously we're going to see a lot more team-up movies, a lot more rounding of the universe, uh, both Marvel and DC side. Uh, I'm very interested in this project. Uh, I'm a fan of a lot, quite a lot of the characters involved in it, in particular Constantine and Swamp Thing, who I think haven't been done correctly on television or movies in the past, and this maybe is their time to shine. Next up, some news about Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, a number of actors have been put forward this week for the role of Star-Lord in this series. If you don't know about the actual comic book series itself, basically it's a superhero team up in space. They travel around space fighting huge supervillains and uh, you know some of them might have some sort of backstory with a certain villain who was teased at the end of the last Avengers movie. Apparently some of the people being considered for the role of Star-Lord are Isaiah Mustafa, uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Michael Rosenbaum, and professional wrestler Dave Batista. Now, for me, I think that you know there's some names there that I can see fit in that role. Uh, I'd like to see Asai Mustafa saved and used to play uh, Power Man Luke Cage. For those of you who don't know, but the other three could all be good from different standpoints. Obviously, Batista's got the build for a superhero. Whether he's got the acting chops to pull it off, I'm not sure. He has had some roles in movies, um, but mainly sort of action movies. Gordon Levitt would be fantastic, but will he risk the possible chance to play Batman in the Justice League movie? I'm not too sure. We'll just have to see what happens, but all these guys have been linked with this role. Sticking with Marvel, some news about Captain America 2 Winter Soldier. Now, we've all been wondering about the setting for this movie, and it's been confirmed that it will be more of a modern setting, coming after Avengers, and there will only be some flashbacks to World War 2. Now, confirmation has been made that Hayley Atwell will not be returning to the character of Peggy Carter, which does obviously line up a possibility of someone to come in and play her niece, uh, the love of Captain America's life in the modern day, Sharon Carter. For those of you who don't know, Sharon Carter is a member of S.H.I.E.L.D. and she plays a huge part in the Ed Brubaker story in the comic books, which this movie is going to be based on. So there is a good chance that that will happen. The American Godzilla reboot has hit a stumbling block with the loss of two of its producers, Roy Lee and Dan Lin. Now, Legendary Pictures are still want to go ahead with this being released in 2014 and have hired Frank Darabont to do a final rewrite on the script. If you don't know who that is, he was a showrunner, uh, one of the big people behind getting The Walking Dead onto our TV screens. So still an exciting prospect and hopefully still a grounded, more realistic Godzilla movie compared to that terrible abomination that was released in the 90s. Some casting news for the new Sin City film, Sin City A Dame to Kill For, which will be looking at the second volume of Frank Miller's anthology series, Sin City. Now, basically, there have been two names that have been confirmed. Firstly, Christopher Maloney is going to be playing an unnamed cop in the movie. And secondly, a name that is linked seemingly with every movie these days, Joseph Gordon-Levitt will be playing a character called Johnny, who's apparently going to be integral to the storyline. Now, apparently the character of Johnny is going to be a gambler 
who is actually hiding a dark secret about how he wants to destroy his most bitter enemy at his own game. So it's intriguing enough for me. They're already adding to the cast as a, a lot of the original cast members are coming back from the first Sin City movie, including Mickey Rourke and Jessica Alba. I'm interested, I'm intrigued, and I can't wait to see it hit the big screen. Finally this week, some news about a big budget video game movie. Now, for those of you who've never played the game Shadow of the Colossus on the PS2 and also it was re-released on the next-gen consoles recently in HD, then you should play this. It is an absolutely fantastic game and hopefully, because it has such a great story, it can make a fantastic movie. Apparently, according to Hollywood Reporter, Seth Lockhead who wrote the movie Hannah, if you haven't seen that at also a fantastic film, is going to be writing a script for Shadows of the Colossus. And Josh Trank, the director of Chronicle, will be directing. Now, the most exciting part of that partnership is Trank, who is basically the big name, the buzz name, directing-wise, uh, in Hollywood at the moment. Okay, guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you like this down there, there's a like button. You click on there, and you let me know that you like this. Also, description box down there, there is a link to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Tumblr. Leave a comment or a video response. Share this with all of your friends. Favourite if you really liked it. If you missed the last bit of Geek Movie News, there's a link just there. If you missed my last video, it's just there. Click out, watch those, spend some time with me on the interwebs, and until next time, au revoir.